look, I, I want this to work. Just keep, you know, keep it 100, right? Yes, sir. Keep it 1,000. All right. Well, good to meet you. You too, man. Good luck. Definitely. Good to meet good you. Good to meet you too, Kim. Let you guys say goodbye to each other. <laughs> See you. This very rarely happens on this show. Thank you, guys. Of course. We'll talk to you in a couple weeks. Hopefully. I got good news for y'all. Right. Yes. Yeah. I better. <laughs> Hey, Dave and Cammie. My name is Stephanie. I'm a single mom to twin boys, and I live in Kissimmee, Florida. I've been talking to a guy named Danny from San Fran for almost 10 years. No! He's not like the other guys I have been into. Danny is sweet, loving, and supportive. I can't get him off my mind. In the night, I wonder. But for nearly a decade, we've been on and off. And as soon as things start to get serious, he goes ghost. In the night, I wonder. But right when I entertain a new relationship, Danny comes back full throttle. And I end up breaking things off with whoever I'm dating because I just don't like them as much as him. That literally just happened again, and I don't know what to do. After all these years, we still haven't met or even video chat. Good night. But wait, wait. <laughs> I'm at a point now where I'm not sure what to believe anymore. Danny says he wants to be with me, and I think I'm ready to be with him too, but I need stability for me and my kids. So it's either now or never. Oh, hey. Hey. You shot the What the There he is. Hey. It's you. I don't understand, man. What, what, what's going on? I just, you know, I just don't like FaceTiming. I don't like talking on the phone. Like, for example, the other day, my mother screamed at me because I haven't called her in four weeks. And, you know, like, it's, it's just one of my things. I don't know. Well, yeah, but, but that's bull It's been 10 years. The reality is I work a lot. I don't really have time. Like, in the little time that I do have, like, I barely can even use it for myself. So it's hard to, like, okay, call but somebody. Okay, you had to FaceTime once. once. I don't know how to feel like you're hiding something. I'm I'm not hiding anything. Over these last 10 years, you guys had talked about her flying out there, you had a plan, she even bought a ticket, and then you disappeared. So what was that about? The truth is that I was ashamed of my living situation. Um, I was ashamed of where I currently live. It's not a great neighborhood. I'm tired of the same answers, of the same. To me, it's excuses. I mean, I don't, I don't see it as excuses. Um, well, here, here's my thing. I'm just curious to know from your side what this whole situation means to you. <sighs> I, I don't really know, to be honest. So I think the reality is that even after 10 years, it's just always been an on and off. It just seems like we always argue about dumb stuff like our conversation the other day, you know? And what conversation was that? She texted me at around like five something in the morning. Her text message woke me up. I couldn't go back to sleep. And I sent her a text saying, please try not to text me at 5 a.m. And uh, she flipped out on me. And she has a tendency to always flip out on me all the time. So I'm the bad one. No, you're not, you're not the bad guy. So 10 years of something is gonna be defined over a stupid ass argument? That's how it's always been. The whole 10 years has always been like that. I don't like that shit. Like, I, I feel that when that happens, like, I don't really need to be doing this. So like, why even... do you keep doing it? Cause I mean, cause like I said, you've always been a constant in my whole life as like, you know, a friend. Friend. So like, I mean, I would love to like- A friend. But you agree that it has 
leaned towards flirtation and potential relationship. I mean, she told us you've talked about starting a family. Those are all things that you do with, you know, someone who's a little bit more than just your friend. I don't know if it's like a love thing. I mean, yes, I love her as a friend, but like if it's like an actual like romance love thing, like I, it's, I don't know. Wanna take it away? I feel like you told your truth and you said what you actually had to say and you meant it. So why am I, why am I gonna keep trying? I mean, it's not like I don't have feelings for you. I definitely do. Um, As a friend. You know, maybe that was just a wrong choice of words. I shouldn't have said, said it like that. I know all this is my fault and I f***ed it up. So for you to be upset, you have every right to be. And I admit that. And things that we've talked about, like plans and stuff like that, is stuff that I've truly wanted. And, you know, there was opportunity, you coming out here, and, you know, I, I f***ed that up. I didn't have you come out here, and, you know, I was, I was wrong in that, and I admit it, and I apologize. I'm sorry. I think if we actually try to actually talk, like, on the phone, as opposed to text all the time, I think that it would definitely help out our situation and improve things. I don't know. I just feel like I've been strung along for so long that for me to open up to somebody, it's hard. Yeah, as do I. So I, I get it. It's been a long time and, you know, I personally don't think that we've actually ever really, really had a chance to, you know, explore this. I think that there is potential to have something. But is it really what you want, though? Like, do you really want to see where things could go with her? Because you guys live on opposite ends of the country. I'm sure that you have people local that you could talk to. Stephanie, I'm sure, has people local that she could talk to. I mean, there's obviously a reason why we keep coming back into communication with each other. It always seems to be that whenever I'm feeling down or whenever I'm going through something, you have a sense of it and you always reach out to me at the perfect time. And little do you know, you have always been there for me at times that I needed somebody. Well, that's why I would love to have another opportunity to show you who I really am. Okay. But your words right now, like words right now, is going like this, like, so until I see action, then I'll start believing. Fair enough. I heard you moving west. Call me. Call on me. Me. Call me. Call me. Dear Neve and Candy, my name is Aaliyah, and I don't know if I'm being paranoid or if my sister, Haley, is being reckless. Okay, so this is a write-in, sounds like. Haley lives in Houston, and I live in Georgia. Oh, Georgia, yeah. told ya. So I've been out of the loop in terms of her love life, but when we came home to visit our mom in Los Angeles, Haley had quite the bombshell to drop. About a year ago, she met a woman online named Brittany from DC. They hit it off, but were both in relationships they weren't willing to walk away from. But about a month ago, they picked up exactly where they left off and are head over heels for each other. I was happy for my sister, until she dropped another bombshell. Apparently, she's never met or FaceTimed with this woman. And she's booked a flight to DC next week. Wow. And get this, Haley also went to DC earlier this summer. And this Britney girl ghosted her. Catfish going catfish. I can't see that far. What the hell? That's Britney. What the f What's up? Hi. Hi, hi. I'm so confused. Hi. Hi. Neve. Brittany. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Cammy. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Hey. We're confused. What do you mean? But maybe you don't know what's been going on. Somehow, there's a situation 
So has it, have you been talking to her the whole time? Yes. Haley? Yeah. Yeah. It's been you texting her? Yes. Okay. But if that's true, then why haven't you FaceTimed with her? I don't do long distance relationships, so um, if I FaceTime with her, it make the relationship or, you know, what we have a bit too real for me. I'm okay. scared, scared of it. Let's just kind of start fresh. You like her. Yes. And you like her. Mm -hmm. And even though you were a little hesitant about taking the next step, yeah. here we are. Here we are. Finally meeting. Face to face. Hang out. We're gonna give you some room to just vibe. And we'll check in with you in a little bit. Give him some space. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. So beautiful. Thank you. You cry. You better not cry. <laughs> Is my glitter on your face? I don't know. No. Oh, they about to. <laughs> space. Hey, Give him some space. Give him some space. I'm such a dad. <laughs> Why did it take you so long to like meet FaceTime? Scared. Just trying to protect myself, that's all. So now that we're face to face, now what? Are you still scared? I'm always gonna be scared, you know? Jumping into something, you know, it's all, you know, something new is always gonna be scary. But I'm willing to, you know, move forward and see where this goes. We did it. We did it, Neve. We've got another positive situation. So, I want to, you know, be with you. You know, I want to see you. You know, where things go. From now on, I'll, I'll FaceTime you. You're gonna yeah. definitely have to. I, <laughs> you're definitely gonna have to. Oh, because, Especially because of, so like, it's supposed to because we're going to be long distance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm happy that I came here. I am too. I am too. I mean, obviously it's, it's not the ideal way, but yeah. I'm glad that you're here. Me too. I'm gonna tell him this Oh my God. We'll figure it out. Like, we'll, we can make right. it fun. Like, yeah. we can meet and. <laughs> we just thought, you know, we <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There we go. Oh. Hey! That's good. This is making time for we wait for. Together? This is crazy. Okay. How are you guys? Where are you guys? Oh, we're in Texas. Brittany moved here on New Year's Day. <laughs> oh my. Wow. Did you guys move in together? Yeah. This is what we love to see. I realized I wanted to be with her, so I figured I'd, you know, make it work. Oh. Well, this is great. So happy for you guys. Yeah, I'm happy. Haley, are you happy that your sister wrote into the show? Even though she was shady, but yeah. <laughs> we gotta come hang out with y'all. Next time we're in Houston, we'll hit you up. All right. Oh, Thank you guys. Bye. 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 Oh. Six years of deception. My name is Kaylee, and I'm writing in on behalf of my cousin, Hamela. She's been in an online relationship for around six years with a guy I'm pretty sure is a catfish. Pamela lives in Utah, and Fernando, her boyfriend, lives in Caracas, Venezuela. Wow. He has stood up my cousin over 20 times. And supposedly, his camera has been broken for more than five years, <laughs> and she sent him at least $4,000 already. Oh, <laughs> Scammer. Her parents even threatened to kick her out. This has gone too far. Pamela is a good person with a lot of love to give, but I'm really worried that this relationship will keep consuming her like it has been for years. We need help. Yes, I told her I was writing you. Here's her number if you can reach out. Well, good to see you. Hi. What's up? Hey, welcome to my house. Oh my god, I love this wood. Let's sit down. We can talk. Yeah, absolutely. Let's chat. 
Oh. Have a seat. Let's get comfy. So tell us oh. a little bit more about you. So did you come here for school? Yes, I just recently graduated from medical system program. Oh. So you've got your life going, got a job, you got your own business. The only thing that seems to be missing is My relationship, Fernando. yeah, Fernando, yep. Yeah. We only read an email from your cousin, so can you give us like the whole story? The whole story, okay. Yeah. So here's the thing, everything starts when I was moving to the United States. Fernando just commented through Instagram, like, you're beautiful. And we just start talking, like, where are you from? Like, what's your age? And things like that. Okay. And when you text, is it in Spanish? Yeah, we text in Spanish. But time passed. We start talking every single day, you know. We have a really good connection. And then it just, like, time stopped. Mm -hmm. And it has been almost six years. Wow, that's a long time. So since you started talking to Fernando, yeah. how many times has he said he was going to come and then it hasn't happened? Every year. So we have been planning on special dates, like, we're gonna spend Christmas together yeah. or my birthday together. So in the year are like three, four times that he says that he's gonna come. So over 20 times at least. At least. We haven't ever video chatted. No, you have to tell me like my camera is broke. I don't have money. So I just tell him I can give you a phone. Nope, I'm not gonna accept that. Wait, um, but you did send some money, right? Some? Well. Um, yes, but he never asked for that. So he had a knee problem and he was hurting every single day. And I paid for his knee surgery. Wow, how much was that? Um, 2,500. Also, there have been times that I just sent him things to buy food because I know how situation is over there. That you don't have food, you don't have power, you don't have anything. Your cousin said you sent him $4,000. So we still have $1,500 to account for, Pamela. Just like food or if you want to go to this place, I can give you a little bit to go to the beach. And does he send you pictures of his knee yeah. or the beach no, no, or because he food that he's a eating? Camera, oh you know? my God, get a new camera! That's what I have to tell him. Like. And what about phone calls? Do you two talk on the phone? He just called me all along, all these six years, just like three times. Oh. Yeah, I need your help, guys. What's so great about this guy? He's very supportive. So here's the thing. When I moved here, I was kind of like sad, missing home, moving down country. I gained over a hundred pounds. And he has been always there for me. Like our chemistry, we match and everything. I never thought that I could have this connection with someone. With him, I can be like I am. We have a really good connection. I love him. And he's my soulmate, that's what I think. But you don't know which person it is. I know that, but without even seeing him, he makes me feel everything. Well, you know what he looks like, right? Um. Have you ever seen a photo of him? Here's the thing, he used the pictures of five guys. Five guys. Five guys. I'm like, stop doing that. Just tell me who you are, I love you more than how you look like. You'd think you? by the fourth time you discovered he was lying, he would like, realize that like, you picture. don't care. Yeah. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh. Hello? Hello. Hola. Hola. Me llamo Neve y... Cami. Cami, ¿cómo estás? Bien, ¿Cuál es su nombre? Fernando. Fernando. Es verdad, tu nombre es Fernando. ¿Y dónde estás? En Caracas. En Caracas. Sí. ¿Tú hablas a Pamela todos los años? Sí, claro. ¿Y es solo tú? Exacto, solo yo. ¿Por qué no usas sus fotos? Soy una persona muy insegura. No me sentía con mostrando mi foto. Pero tú eres un hombre hermoso. No sé, no me siento, no, no me siento así. Right, I so look. Queremos dejarte hablar con Pamela, entonces la vamos a traer. Bien, chévere, chévere, amor. Hola. Hola. ¿Por qué me mentiste tanto? Sentí que no era tu tipo de persona, no me, no, no me siento seguro con mi físico. Siempre te dejé claro que no me importaba un físico, que solamente quería estar contigo. Y hoy me fallaste, no estabas en el parque. ¿Por qué no decir la verdad y decir estoy en Venezuela, no voy a ir? Porque me diste un ultimátum y ya yo me sentía súper presionado. ¿Por qué nunca me hablaste por teléfono? No sé. Mantenerme en el anonimato en ese sentido, pues, entonces... 
Este, el dinero que una vez te di para una cirugía de la rodilla, ¿fue para una cirugía de la rodilla? Claro, obviamente me lesioné la rodilla. Para eso lo usé. Ok. Eh, ¿De dónde me estás llamando? ¿De qué teléfono me estás llamando? Porque a mí todo el tiempo me has dicho que tu cámara ha estado rota. No, no, mi teléfono está dañado y yo cuando me comunico es porque agarro la línea y me prestan un teléfono y simplemente me comunico contigo. So what was the plan? What was his yeah, plan was this whole time? Entonces, ¿cuál ha sido tu plan todo este tiempo? El plan todo este tiempo es mostrar mi físico, mostrar mi voz. Ya me cansé de tantas de tantas mentiras y por eso te estoy diciendo que estoy tomando ya todo el papeleo para allá en enero ir a Estados Unidos y verte. Y cómo sé que no es mentira. Estoy mostrando con mi cara, te estoy mostrando que si puedo hacer las cosas. So he's saying he, like, he wants to have everything ready and he's wants to have money and like he's his getting courage. getting everything and... ready and he's just asking for one more, you know, like trust him just one oh, more He's time. asking that now. Yeah. That's a big ask. ¿Por qué debería darte otra oportunidad si ya te he dado tantas? Ha sido demasiadas mentiras, pero la conexión no me digas que es mentira. No me digas que, que miento cuando te digo que te amo, cuando te digo cuando te extraño. Eso no se miente. He loves you and the connection, but he can't be lying about that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lo siento, uno min momento, por favor. Ok, está bien. He's promising me now that things are going to be okay, so... How I can know that if I don't give a try? I don't blame you for wanting to give him one more chance to show up. But I think if it were me, I'd say, all right, well, the next time I hear from you should be from the right. Provo airport. Because I don't want him building you up for the next three, four, five, six weeks. Yeah. So if you're serious, show up and I'll and I'll consider meeting you. Han pasado muchos años. Han habido muchas mentiras de por medio. Y si quieres ser parte de mi vida, pues tienes que ganarte eso y mostrar acto de presencia. Te sigo amando porque eres la persona que amo, pero no voy a seguir cometiendo los mismos errores contigo. Y, y me gustaría que cuando me vuelvas a contactar, me vuelvas a escribir, que sea que tú vas a venirte para acá y que sea la completa verdad. Lo voy a hacer, lo voy a hacer y voy a ser la persona con la que vas a amar toda la vida. Yo voy a hacer todo y sí, total. ¿Qué tú piensas sobre Pamela? Es la mujer más bella, la mujer más hermosa. Me encanta todo de ella, me encanta su personalidad, me encanta todo, o sea, todo su ser me encanta y me siento demasiado bien con ella, o sea, siento que soy yo. Yo no te tomo a ti por, como una novia, te tomo como mi plan de vida, porque eres el amor de mi vida y, ese es, y eso es lo que voy a hacer. Ir a Estados Unidos y Para darme un anillo, tiene que ser físico, no me lo puedes dar por cámara. Okay. Espero que eso sea así. Sí, confía en mí. Wait, what okay. did you say? I used to say for him that if he wants to give me a ring, he needs to give it to me. And he said that that's what he wants. Okay, Fernando. Yo no sé. <laughs> Fernando. <laughs> Ella es un ángel. Mm -hmm. Un regalo de Dios. Sí. Yo sé que sí. Sí, y... Don't... You know... Don't this up. Yeah. yeah. No Por favor. Por no Más. Uno chance más. Sí. Right. Okay. It's my time. <laughs> Necesitamos salir. We're gonna go outside. Yeah. Let you guys hang. Yes. Vamos a dejar que ustedes dos hablen solos. Okay, Fernando. Dale. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto, Fernando. Mucho gusto. Okay. Buena suerte. Bye. Thank you. Había esperado desde hace mucho tiempo este momento. Mira, eh, mira. She's going to be with him for the rest of her life. You He's going to so? move here and they're going to get married. Wait, really? They're going to yes. But do you think do you think it could work out like it's going to she's going to make it work out. Okay, Pamela is the most determined girl I know. Creo que si haces las cosas bien, podemos tener algo muy lindo. De, de, de verdad que me siento súper, súper bien. Voy a hacer mucho mejor. Hay cosas que hay que mejorar, pero sí quiero estar contigo. Quiero verte, quiero besarte, quiero abrazarte. Te amo. Y yo también te, te amo. amo. Yo te también amo te demasiado, te amo muchísimo. Y yo te amo con todo mi corazón. Te adoro. Bueno, Gordo, ya, ya me voy a ir. 
Te amo con todo mi corazón. Te amo. Here comes the bride. How do you feel about this whole thing? So I'm super happy right now. Right. I, I mean, there are still things that need to be done, but I think that it's like a huge step. Like, at least I know with who I've been talking to. He's All very this, handsome. Yeah, and he's cute and all that. All right. Yay. I'm gonna miss you guys. We'll miss you too. We're proud of you. Yes. Oh, group hug. I'm in love with you. Think I'm in love with you. What's up, guys? Good, everything is good. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, bien. ¿Cómo estás tú? Muy bien. Good, good. Fill us in a little bit. What's been going on for you guys? So, we have been talking like this, like video chat on the phone. Um, yesterday, actually, he went to the embassy to sign some documents for his passport. And he's going to get his passport this week. Two days after, he's going to come. Is he going to live with you? Once he get here, like, we're gonna be together. Wow! Yay! So, Fernando, do you have your maletas packed? Ah, no, ya todo está listo. Todo. La... Everything is ready. Wow. Are you ready, Pamela? Are you ready for him to move? I am ready. I'm super ready. Yeah, he's the love of my life. Oh, look at Fernando, all smiley. Es una reina y y la trato como tal. This is great. I cannot wait for next week. We're happy for you guys. This is wonderful. Finally! Besos! Besitos! Besitos! Can I trust him? Hey, hey, Neve and Cammy. Hey, hey. My name is Jasmine, and I'm 28 years old. I'm a single mother of two very beautiful little girls living in Baltimore, Maryland. My home state! Maryland! Six months ago, I started talking to this guy named Ryan that I met on a dating app. Don't you break my heart. Ryan is 31 and lives in Southampton, Virginia, about four hours from me. Baby, give me one shot. He seems like my perfect guy. He is tall, handsome, funny, and family oriented. He treats me so well, I really love him. But this man hasn't yet FaceTimed me, and I haven't seen him in person. Every time I asked to meet up, he would tell me he's going through family problems, and that it would be soon. The worst part is back a few months ago, he ghosted me for an entire month, blocked me on Insta, everything. Then he came back and messaged me a month later and apologized. I was ready to move on, but he promised nothing like that would happen again, and told me he wanted to be with me. I'm so in love with him, but I'm still skeptical. What's the problem? I think I found my king, and I can't wait to actually be with him. Help! Thank you, Jasmine. Wait a minute. What the hell is going on? Jen. What the f***ing oh my Oh God. Hello. How y'all doing? Nice to meet you. I don't even know how to approach you. Right I now. mean, I ain't know how to really tell you. What is it that you gotta tell me? Because obviously you not catfishing me, so. I was just, you know, I was in a marriage. I should have told you when I first met you, but it was a real tumultuous situation. But, you know, I'm out of there. I'm completely separated now. I'm dying. I love you. My feelings for you is real. Everything's real. Nothing's fake. Let me try and get this straight. So, y your name is Ryan. Yes, my name is okay. Ryan. You're 31. 31 years old. Most, if not everything, that you've told her about yourself is true. Yeah, everything is true. What she didn't know was that when you met... I was in a marriage. You were married. And do you have children? No, no kids. How long were you married for? Four years. Oh, wow. If he'd been honest when you first started talking, I imagine you would have probably understood. Yeah, if he came to me in the beginning, right. like I was honest with you, that was something you should have shared with me. Yeah, I just, I was afraid. But I mean, it's over now. I have no relations or no I'm doing anything with that woman. But why not video chat? Well, I don't like to video chat all the time. I'm more of a text person. Sure, OK. Yeah, look, I get that. I, I just want her to feel, know I I'm mean, so serious. Right. Like, I want her. Jen, I love you. It's nothing else that I want. You give me all the proper feeling that I want from a woman. 
seeing you just solidifies the insecurities. And please just understand that people make mistakes. I love you, and I really want to make this work. Please. <laughs> Not here trying to say the perfect words or nothing. I just, you know, I go off how I feel. Man. I know how I feel about you. Like, for real. It just feels so good to see you in person, if you know, something I've been imagining for months. So we together, together? Like, this is exclusive? Yeah, this is exclusive. Exclusive. This is exclusive. Okay. How you doing? <laughs> say it again. No. <laughs> Well, what are the vibes? Hey, the vibes is great. Oh, look, I, I want this to work. Just keep, you know, keep it 100, right? Yes, uh, keep it a 1,000. All right, well, good to meet you. You too, man. Good luck. Definitely. Good to meet good you. Good to meet you too, Kim. Let you guys say goodbye to each other. <laughs> <laughs> You. This very rarely happens on this show. Thank you, guys. Of course. We'll talk to you in a couple weeks. Hopefully. I got good news for y'all. Right. Yes. Yeah. I better. <laughs> hey. hey! How are you? I'm good. Yeah, tell Today's us. Today's my birthday. Oh! It's your birthday! Have you been celebrating with Ryan? What's up with him? No, I didn't celebrate with him. But we talk every day. Whoa, we okay. Think time. Have you guys yeah. hung out together? Not yet. We're planning to spend a whole weekend together. Wow, hey. fun. Well, let's bring him in. Okay, well. yeah, I guess if you guys are talking, we might as well just add him in. Oh, oh, oh there he is. Hello. How y'all doing? What's going on? You have been hitting it all real good. Face time and talking all the time. We would really have the whole weekend to go. That's amazing. So now that everything's out in the open, there's no mystery, you guys are getting closer, right? Yes, sir. Everything out in the clear so we can do that. All right, well, I'm excited for you guys. I think it's going to be a nice weekend. So send us, you know, the invite when you guys do get engaged. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> for sure. All right, guys, take care. You too. All right. Bye. Bye. See ya. Dear Catfish Team, my name is Moses. I'm 40 years old, and I live in Los Angeles, California. I'm a theater student and a football player. My marriage of 11 years broke up last year, and since then, I've been trying to figure out my life. There's a girl I met online dating named Crystal. She's an artist, and she's beautiful. She's 32 and lives in Anaheim. They're so close. We've been talking for about four months. I don't just want to date her, I'm ready to share my life with her. I feel like I have found the one. We talk every day and both tell each other everything. We consider ourselves in a committed relationship. She believes in me and is up for all my crazy ideas. Having someone that is in my corner is something special I haven't felt in a long time. Issue is, we've never met, and my efforts to meet her have not been successful. She's given me many excuses. I've done my best to be receptive and understanding to her needs, but she still isn't making meeting a priority. I don't know what to do now. We're already making plans for the future. I love her. You guys are my last resort. Give me a call, please. Moses. Oh, I see some drawings. There's like a little stack of drawings like on a table, right? What's up? Hi. How are you? I'm good. Crystal, right? Yes. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Neve. Nice to meet Pleasure. you. Pleasure. Mm -hmm. Step right this way. Hello. Hey, Crystal? <laughs> yes. Hi. Hi. Nice this to meet you. This is Moses. How are you doing? Can I, can I 
Oh. oh. <laughs> Hello. There she is. Wow. I'm real. You exist. Yes, I exist. So what the hell's been going on? Just feeling I need to earn people instead of just being blessed them. It has to do with a lot with me. I feel like, you know, I'm not capable of being there all the time, especially since I have to support my mom and grandma all the time. But also, if I paid my phone bill, I would have been able to afford to be able to talk to you all the time. But as a lady, something I've been taught, something I've been believing, I don't deserve a true man such as yourself if I can't even be that real lady. And I couldn't literally not afford to see you all the time. I'm a phenomenal lady, but I don't deserve this gorgeous man if I can't be that phenomenal lady with everything a phenomenal lady has. But what is what is a phenomenal lady supposed a to A lady have? who has, and I've been raised around ladies who have work, who have money, who have nothing but physical and emotional and spiritual support. I don't have it all. I don't have it all, and I wanted to earn you. But I don't think anybody has it all. I was, I just got stricken with my nervousness, and that, that was the best way I was taught to cope. I commend you for wanting to wait to be where you want to be before you feel like you're ready and, and worthy of a relationship. But I can't help but feel like letting him pay for stuff. I didn't, I didn't ask all the time. Like, well, no, I, but, but No, 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 but, go ahead. But it does kind of feel like you were comfortable taking in some ways from him, even though you say you didn't feel like you were ready and worthy to like be with him. And so it's like, well, if you really didn't feel like you were worthy of him, you should have either just communicated that and said, hey, I'm, I need some more time, I'm not ready yet. But you instead allowed him to, you know, continue talking to you, continue planning this future and continue supporting some of your life that to me is sort of a mixed signal. I can understand. Right, okay. I'm, I understand. What, what you said, like how you feel, like was, was that real? Like It is. It's nothing but. I get nothing but the time to be real. I don't have time to lie. I can't afford to lie or make up stuff. I'm only here to tell the truth because if I'm not real with myself, that's clearly not gonna be real with you. I'm not doing that. You're very mysterious. It's hard to find any information about you. It's like he had to kind of consider that maybe you weren't telling him the truth. I'm anti-technology. That's why I don't have a lot of selfies and things like that. Well, I guess, why did you decide to show up today? It, it hurt me to hurt you. It didn't feel fair. And I was planning on doing all these surprising things for you when I started working, helping you out if you needed it when Not I started getting all that. Not seeing you was hurting me. Like, exactly. I didn't care. Don't think I wasn't suffering. You Don't didn't have that. to. Don't you, think that. You didn't have to. Well, OK, she look, it, the timing was, wasn't right. And now here we are. You're both at sensitive moments in your lives and have some things you need to work out and, and cl clear up. Why don't we take Moses, drop him back at home now, mm -hmm. Let both of you just sort of reset. Mm -hmm. And now, if and when you want to get together, y you can. And you can just sort of let it naturally happen at a, te a speed and, and mm -hmm. tempo that feels right. Absolutely. That's what I would truly like. Well, great. Awesome. So it's not even goodbye. It's just no. see you later. See you later. See you later. It was very nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> Congratulations. Huzzah. Huzzah. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Moses got a girlfriend. <laughs> Moses got a girlfriend. <laughs> well, I, all right, man. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for me. I'm happy you're happy for me. I don't know. I just just went from one second being that it just could be a dude. <laughs> To and actually being her. I mean, you must feel like a tremendous weight off Ooh. your shoulders, though, too. Yeah, this is everything. Like, I'm just like, I feel 10 pounds lighter right now.
guys gotta give us the update. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, what's going on? Um, it's a relationship, you know. We've been shaking and moving, and just you got one. <laughs> it turned into like an everyday situation, so it's cool. Yeah, I think every hour. Yeah. Wow. Wait. So, how soon after we filmed did you guys like start hanging out? Like a couple hours later. <laughs> oh, I think. So it's just been on. Yeah. It doesn't feel forced. Like you know what I mean, we have a lot of line common. Crystal, you understand now that it's okay for you to ask for what it is that you want. You don't have to be deserving of anything. You don't have to yeah. do. You know. That's definitely what I want, and it's it's nice to know that I have it now. You know. Oh. Um, this is great. Thank, Thank you, you for. Um, you know, finding this person. <laughs> Anytime. I'm finding this man, finding you. Yeah. All right, guys, take care. Good luck. All right, later. Bye. Bye. Bye.